these are all frog eggs, if you can believe that. So we gotta do something about that. I know you're probably thinking why get rid of those but that is a lot of frogs and like every single one of those black little dots is an egg so we do not want that many frogs in our pond we did leave lots like there's tons around the other shore that we're gonna leave but this was way too much <laughs> so yeah it's kind of crappy to take the eggs out of the water and let them die, but we do not want that many frogs in our pond. That was impressive. Like I thought right there, I was buried, and then all of a sudden it grabbed something, and it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it grabbed it because right here it hit a low spot. Like, yeah, really low there. Yeah, like that's almost where I wanted. I just want to swing the front. Okay. That way, straight. That worked out pretty good, babe. Yeah, it did. I thought she was just gonna do that. I know. <laughs> Me too.
time to start planning this greenhouse. So this year we're putting just tomatoes and peppers in our greenhouse because, oh, and cucumber. Um, they get the most use out of the greenhouse because it gets, allows them to grow longer and the heat, they love the heat. So that is what we're using this one for this year and just taking advantage of more production coming off our crop as opposed to ton planting tons of crop. I also keep all my eggshells and I crush them in the bottom of wherever I'm planting a tomato because it really helps them take off. They like that calcium. Not bad, eight in and eight to go. tomatoes are planted. There we have eight peppers and 16 tomatoes all planted. It feels so good to get at least that planting off my list of planting to do and our tomatoes were getting so big in their pots that it really just needed to be done. So I'm so happy to have at least those in the ground. a gorgeous day today we are taking advantage and we are going to do a hive inspection on our bees just make sure that there is egg and larvae in each of the hives that way we know if each hive has a queen so let's go do that, I'm off like that. Okay, well they all went down it's up here already. is that that's just from last year but This is pretty fucking empty though. Oh yeah, we're gonna piss in the bottom. Yeah. That was the only one we dropped yeah, on, right? Yeah, only one, yeah. No, I wouldn't. As long as you see eggs and larvae, I think we're golden. Say the sugar helped. Yeah. Would say treating for mites helped. Yeah. And buying bees in the north where they're from helped. Yeah. A lot. 100%. Well, he was mostly that. 
Yeah. We did our first hive inspection today just to make sure all of our hives had a queen and we saw eggs and larvae in all of them which is an amazing feeling and that means that each of our three hives behind me here has a queen and this is our first spring going in with each hive being thriving so we are super excited about that and hopefully this year we'll have lots of honey for us and to sell so we are very ecstatic that finally our hives have produced and they're doing very well now we think this has to do with when we got our bees from up north here as opposed to getting them down south and bringing them up so that's the one two we used a different insulation cover this year on top um, so I really think that that made a huge difference. And three, it wasn't really that rough of a winter. So I just think that they did better because it wasn't such a hard winter. And number four is we did mites, uh, mite testing or mite strips. So I treated them for mites before we went into winter. And that I think really helped them not die <laughs> over the winter. But yeah, we, could not be happier and hopefully we'll have lots of honey come in. But that's it for this video and we'll see you in the next one.